the other side of the Anthropocene, in my mind, is to see it for what it is. It is us humans now in the driving seat. We determine our own future on planet Earth. Humans live. We have this cultural landscape. We are connected in so many ways. And if we lose that connectivity, if we lose that, uh, we are in big trouble. The optimism comes from the fact that every year I see a new intake of students who is bringing enormous creativity, enormous energy, enormous commitment to change. That's sort of what keeps us doing this, is the sort of the constant flow of new ideas that are coming through. I think it's understanding how, as beings who've evolved on this planet are, are essentially, you know, we're 70% water, we share all this with other animals, and how this is essential for our well-being. We need to better understand that, and we need to build better lives for ourselves, both cities, houses, lifestyles that fit with how nature works. So I think there's, there's a lot that, that makes me optimistic. I think my fear uh, is that we won't be smart enough, that we're very intelligent without being smart. Uh, and at the moment, I think we're behaving as a society a bit like adolescents. So my feelings about the Anthropocene, that's a tricky. It depends on the day. Sometimes I, I feel pessimistic because the challenges are so big and our capacities to address them are so limited. Uh, but at, at other times I'm quite optimistic because there's so much, you see so much creativity uh, in this community, so many good people, uh, a lot of activity and energy being mobilized into this. So I, th I think I'll alternate between being pessimist and, and highly optimistic. So when I teach sustainability science, I think one of the key characteristics or the, one of the key things that I want to teach my students and have the students understand is systems thinking. They need to think in systems. They need to link themselves with nature. They need to link themselves with each other. We're, we're so interconnected today. So this kind of systems thinking and realizing that we're all in each other's backyard, that we're all linked and can learn from each other is a, is a characteristic of the science and the teaching that I want to do here at the center. I think that humanity has an enormous opportunity for a good life and a good development for many people on Earth. But that will require an understanding of being part of the thin layer, being part of the biosphere. And I truly believe that we are in a, in a new en enlightenment era, actually. You could almost call it, call it an enlightenment era of reconnecting to the planet.